today is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so Eric and I are back on the water. We're going to be targeting bass today. We brought the kayaks. Um, Eric's going to be running the Outback and I'll be running the Pro Angler. So we are here at a lake that we actually came to last week. I uh, very briefly explored this lake but we had a tire go soft on the truck so we didn't get to spend a lot of time here. But we caught some fish, found this beautiful lake. Neither of us have fished it before so we're back again today for some redemption, spend some more time here and uh, yeah it's gonna be a blast. I'm very excited to have partnered with Sail on today's video. So I have had a relationship with Sail over the years. I started off um, as a customer and then I worked in the fishing department in the Ottawa store for a little while. And then this past year I've been working with Sail to create instructional videos and articles and uh, they have been an awesome partner so I'm super grateful to work with them on this video. I uh, picked up some new gear recently at sale that I'm going to be testing out today as well so looking forward to uh, sharing that with you guys and Eric's ready. He's already staying in the water fishing. <laughs> I'm holding them up. So anyways we're going to get out there and uh, try and catch some fish and I think we're going to catch some fish. Okay right, so I'm going to I'm gonna get in the water and uh, make our way up. There's one. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Swally! Oh! First fish on the chatter. Lost him. Dropped him. I'm gonna cast right back out there. Okay, I'm picking up the Neko. Giving it a try. I think I just dropped in the perfect spot. I can see the hard spot. I can see the edge of the weeds. There's gotta be a fish there. Got him! <laughs> Nice! <laughs> that was cool. I saw that fish on live scope. There we go. First fish of the day on a new technique on a Neko rig. Been seeing that. Haven't tried it yet. Decided to pick up some gear to try it. And I saw this fish just come flying in and eat it. Cute little smallmouth. Yeah! Right on. Let's see if I can get some more fish on this. There's one. <laughs> Whoa! Give me some jumps. There we go. Another little small mouth. It's got a bunch of buddies down there, so I'm gonna get right back down. It comes up here, you can see the weed tops probably, and then it drops down to like 30, and there's some boulders and lots of fish around out here, so. And up there, there's tons of bluegill activity. I saw one largemouth, but decided to move off a little bit. There's one. <laughs> Another little smallie. Practicing on the little guys, right? Right. <laughs> Cutie. <laughs> All right, so here's what I'm using. I've got the Z-Man Fang Sticks. It's a stick bait. It's got little tentacles on there. Um, these are 5.75 inches long, and there's a little weight that is the Neko Shrooms, another Z-Man product, and then I've got the VMC Neko Hooks. So this little weight is going to sit on bottom, and then when I twitch it, those little tentacles are going to kick and the bait's going to kick around. So it just kind of allows me to get a little bit deeper. Um, you know, I love fishing a Sanko or a stick bait, but... 
this just gives me the option to fish it a little bit deeper because otherwise you wait forever for a Senko to sink. So it's pretty cool. I'm really liking it so far. So I decided to pick up a new rod and reel specifically for this technique uh, when I was at sale last. So trying something new, I picked up the Daiwa Tatula. Um, I haven't fished a lot of Daiwa, but there are some great reviews, so I thought I'd check it out. And another new one for me is the Okuma Psycho Stick. Uh, this is a 7 foot 2 medium rod. Uh, but it seems like a really nice rod and, and also had great reviews, so I thought I'd give these a try. It's a fun way to fish, so I will link, or I'll put links below to all the products that I picked up for this. I think I'll be throwing it a bit more today, we'll see, but I'll be sure to include whatever items I'm using, so if you guys want to check them out. Now, let's see if I can upgrade a little bit. Caught a few little guys. See if I can find some big guys. There's one. <laughs> Another smally. Lots of them out here. <laughs> Whoa! Well, that one's a little bit bigger. There we go. And it's nice, they get hooked right in the corner of the mouth. Just like that. Here we go. There's one. <laughs> I'll never get tired of fighting these guys. There we are. Dropping down, I see some fish right under me. Oh, there's a bigger one coming. Got it. <laughs> oh no. Lost it. Still there. Wow. There. Oh yeah, I don't know if that's it. Nope. My phone's ringing. Eric's calling me. There. What's Eric calling me for? Maybe he got a nice fish. So Eric just got a good one. Oh, I wish I hooked that first one that hit. Felt real good. I'm gonna go check things out. Nice! Getting one there hooked. We go. Nice! Not my biggest of the day, but I'll take it. <laughs> On the crawls? Yep. Drop shot crawls. Nice. <laughs> Secret. <laughs> There's one. <laughs> Whoa! There. <laughs> I am loving this rig. There's one. <laughs> Dropped straight down. Picked him up. Gonna bring him on this side. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, I got one too. Mine's not a big one. <laughs> we got a double header, but Eric has a big one, he says. Mine... No. Oh. Oh. He's got a buddy. Is it? Wow. Okay. A pike? <laughs> I got a smallie here. He had a pal with him. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly let this guy go and check out Eric's pike that he got here. Wow, that is a gorgeous fish. <laughs> Lucky he didn't break me off. He took me for a ride. Right on. Did you let him go? Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> saw that one. Said I saw that one. Whoa. <laughs> A little bit better. Whoa. Lost him. <laughs> Slightly bigger. 
So I'm just making my way back to the shoal that I was fishing a little bit earlier. I had a good bite here that I lost, so I'm gonna come back and check it out. I was fishing a little bit offshore, um, but wasn't really seeing much, like kind of checking around boulders and stuff. I've seen the odd fish, but nothing too crazy. So I'm heading back to where I was marking a lot more fish. Oh, there we go. Already starting to see some. So the way I'm working it so far, just casting out, let it sink all the way to bottom. And then I'm twitching it just so that tail is kicking. And then I'm also kind of hopping it a bit. So I'll hop it a couple times and then twitch, twitch, hop it again. And I've got live scope on my kayak, so it's really cool just to see how the fish are reacting to it. I've seen fish that were like, I don't know, 10, 20 feet away, just come charging at it. And then others, like I really have to twitch and like not move it too much uh, to entice them to bite. Like they want a more subtle action. So it's pretty neat just to see how they're reacting to it. And then I'm learning to fish it as well. So it's nice to fish a new technique when the fish aren't being too finicky and you're getting lots of bites. I mean, even if they're small, it's still kind of showing you the right way to to work the technique. So it's been a good learning experience for me today. And I still have hope to catch a nice one. There's one. That feels better. Oh my gosh, that fish has like three other fish with it. There we go. Wow, that fish had like three other buddies with them. There we go. Another smelly. <laughs> Got it. Oh, I saw that fish coming. That's a better one. Oh yeah. Much better. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> nice. Better, Smalley. Hey, you've got a funny looking gill plate. There we go. A little bit better quality. Gotta show you his gill plate. Right there. It's got like a funny mark on it. Beautiful fish though. Feisty guy. There we go. <laughs> yeah! That's a nicer one. Nice, that one doesn't feel half bad. Got a little glimpse of them. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> awesome. Whoa, he's got something in his throat. Hopefully you can see that. Anyway, I'll let him go, he's having dinner. Hey. I legit have one of the biggest pike I've ever hooked in my life on right now. Really? It's 15 plus easy. Where are you? God, this thing is huge. It's not even gonna fit my net. Okay, I'm on my way. Okay, I'll see you in a sec. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be right there. Bye. So Eric says he has a giant pike on. He's on the other side of the lake. So I'm going to quickly motor over. Gotta see this thing. What did you just do? It just jumped out. Did you see it? Hardly. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All that, eh? Wow. So how big was it? It was over 40 inches for sure. What? That's insane. There's one. <laughs> right on. I found a few rocks here, casted down around them, and found me a smolly. Whoa, he's uh, puking up all kinds of stuff here. Looks like crayfish. There we go. There we go. Whoa! This one's towing me. What is this? Wow, I gotta back my drag. 
Haven't seen it yet. Whoa! Big pike. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Woo! Not as big as the one you had, but it's nice. Whoa! What are you doing eating my bass lure? There. Neat color on this one. Mm -hmm. See? Very nice. Okay, he's frisky. He wants to go back. <laughs> Check all that bait out. And something just spooked it. <laughs> That's cool. Nice. <laughs> Another smallie. It's a fun way to catch him. He's got a little food in his throat. Can't quite tell what it is. But he's still eating my bait. Oh, what a, oh my gosh. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a nice one. <laughs> Just about jumped in the boat. Come here. There you go. Settle down. Settle down. You are very feisty for your size. <laughs> Thought you were a little bit bigger. There you go. Oh, got something that feels decent on here. <laughs> Holy. What is up, fish? Get out of the weeds. Oh, finally a large mouth. Hey, buddy. Thanks for showing up. Little guy. He's chunky, though. <laughs> yeah. Another species on the Neko. So right now, I'm hugging a weed line here. Just kind of casting along the edge of it. And that's where that guy came from. Hey, what do you got there? Beautiful. It's a walleye. It's a nice one. Bonus on the net rig. Let him go. <laughs> Eric said he's hooked up to his best fish of the day. And I saw a jump. It's in the. Oh, there it goes again. There you go. That's better. Another net. Another net. Another Ned fish. Sweet. There she goes. All right, guys, I'm about to sign off here because it's getting dark, and the second I hit the shore, I'm putting a bug suit on because the bugs are gonna be crazy. But Eric just caught a fish, so I'm gonna pan around, and you can show us your fish right now. Let's see it. Let's see it. <laughs> right on. So anyway, you let that guy go. Uh, today was a great day. The goal for me was to try a new technique and catch some fish on it, which I did. And caught lots of fish. I tried a few different techniques, but the Neko rig ended up being the best bet for today. So uh, I can really only go up from here and uh, get better at it and catch some bigger fish. So I uh, had a great day. Thanks to Sail for partnering with me on this video. And... We are going to fish our way back to shore. Thanks for watching. I will include links below to the products I was using. But if you have any questions at all or if you have any tips on fishing this technique, as I said, I'm new at it. So would love to hear it. Would love to chat with you in the comments below. And that is all. We will see you in the next video.